Hey friends, hey, thank you for clicking on today's video. It is a new month, so let's put our money to work. it is March yay for March it is a new month and I'm super excited for March I'm here for it I started a new job I'm excited so that means more money for me so I could get to do the things that I want to do which is to save invest and just you know in general put my money to work so let's just color in March and I'm just going to go ahead and I guess do a little montage of me filling out my calendar spread and then we will go into details and fill in the keys for what it is that I need to make sure I keep in mind for the month of March. Okay, so my calendar spread is all done. What I like about March, it, it has a full complete month. There are 31 days in this month and more days just means more time to do stuff and get things done. So I'm done with that. I am going to go in with my blue pen just to let things pop a little bit. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in some of the key things that I need to make sure that I cover. One of them, the most important, is my income. So let me just make sure I put that at the very top. So I need to make sure I get my income on here as well as my bills, which are my monthly bills. Next up are my debts, and I know debts are like bills, but they're different. Once I clear these up, they don't have to be a part of the key anymore, and that is the goal. And then other others is like any casual bills that I need to pay for that month. It's not something that reoccurs, so that is what others mean. So with my new job, I am no longer going to be getting paid bi-weekly which is how I was doing my cash stuff. I will now be getting paid semi-monthly. And what that means is I will get paid on the 15th and the 31st or whichever day is the last day of the month. So for March, that means I will get paid on, I wanna kinda highlight it with green, I will get paid on the 15th so on the 15th I will have an income I'm just going to do it that way and then scroll over to the end of the month I will get paid on the 31st which is new for me I've never gotten paid like that before so that is new for me for sure that is definitely something new for me and i'm pretty sure once i get into the groove of things everything will be just fine but it's gonna take a minute because i'm used to getting paid bi-weekly and this is my first time ever getting paid semi-monthly right i didn't even know there was such a thing but there is okay so my income's done or you know what i actually I'm not done with my income. I'm going to do my side hustle as well. Etsy pays me out every Monday. So I'll do that. So if things go good for my Etsy shop, I will get one, two, three, four payouts from Etsy. Two, regular income. So now the income is money. 
So I put that in green. Now I'm going to do my bills. So on the first will be my rent. So rent on the first. Then on the 15th, I have a bill coming out on the 15th. I have one coming out on the second. And there's a lot of bills, guys. Don't judge me. I have another one on the 15th. I have one on the 22nd. Then on the 9th, these are in no particular order. I'm just doing them as I look to the side. I didn't put them down in order. I just kind of randomly jot them down. I have one on the 18th. Then on the 29th which this is also the end of the month so it might not be due on the you know what i'm just going to pay it on the 29th this one is technically on the last day of the month but i'll pay it a couple of days ahead of time then i have one more on the fifth on the 19th i have a bill and the 14th the 13th man i have a lot of bills i knew it was a lot but i didn't know it was like this this much and this is a other so this is something that i'm paying and once it's done it will not reoccur i got some new furniture so i'm just this is an interest-free um card that i'm actually paying off so those are all the bills so that is done for my debts which are my credit card i'll put that in purple just to kind of highlight that a little bit more so i have a credit card bill due on the second of the month another one due is it the second no see i already made a, you know what it's due on the fourth but i will pay it on the second how about that and this is a weekend but this bill is auto so it'll automatically come out so on the second then i have a credit card due on the 20th of the month and then the 17th so I'll put the 18th. I think it goes for the 18th because that one is a credit card payment. It will fall on the 18th. So that is it for my bills. And my other, I should have did the other in a different color, but you know what, nonetheless it's done. So income check, bills, debts, other, other bills that are spontaneous. So my calendar spread is done. I'm not going to share the numbers with you guys, but I'm. that's as far as the decoration goes, keeping it sweet and simple. Now I'm going to get into my, a little bit of numbers with you guys, a little bit of numbers, okay? So let's just go ahead and color off March. So for this month, I am going to budget for $5,200. Okay, so that is my total budget for this month, $5,200. And I'm just doing a little nice round off. Okay, so for my total fixed expense, I'm going to do 1200 there are a few subscriptions that i'm going to cancel so this 1200 may or may not change for my fixed expenses let's just move on down to variables so for my variables i have groceries and then i have children then i have gas and spending okay this month for groceries i'm going to budget 800 dollars. for children i'm going to budget um an even 300 gas is going to be 200 and then for spending i'm going to put 150 so let's just go ahead and add that up okay, 
So for my variable expenses, it totals out to $1,450. And I always keep forgetting to do the math. Let me just do 5,200, take away 1,200. That gives me $4,000. And I wanna do a different color pen so that I kind of keep track or it just helps me to see the difference a little bit more. So 4,000 take away 1,450. That gives me 2,000, 2,550 to work with. Moving on over into my debts. I have my Visa one, Visa two, and then my MasterCard. And I also have a bit of back tuition and I think I have a balance of $300 and what happened was, um, yeah, what happened was, what occurred, um, I had one class left and I had to pay for that one class out of pocket. So that's what that is about. I didn't realize that I got a loan, a student loan, but I didn't realize that it didn't cover for the one class. So I have to pay for that one class out of pocket and I have a $300 balance on that account. So I am going to put 50 on that. For my MasterCard, I am going to put 200. For Visa number two, I also want to put 200. And then for Visa number one, I want to put um, 300 on that. So let's just go ahead and add all of that up. Okay, so that gives me a total of 750. Okay, so $2,550. Take away 750. That gives me a balance of 1800, so $1,800. Okay, now I'm going to go into my sinking funds. So I have my high priority, then I have um, lifestyle, and then I have my uh, self-care. Okay, so those are the three that I have. And I should, I do have, um, it's, it is a savings challenge, but it's from my budgeting book. So this is like my financial mindset budget in book so I'm going to put it right here I'll just say financial mindset okay and for that book in total I will budget $100 for it and then for self-care I'll budget 50 for self-care for this month lifestyle and high priority I am going to budget $200 for each of those okay so let's add all of that up and see what I get that totals out to $550 okay so $1,800 take away $550 so I have a $1,250 balance to work with. So now I need to get into my saving challenges. Let me just go ahead and grab the book and go through those to see which ones I will be doing. Okay, so I have Diamond Rush. And then I have my $5 challenge, then my $10 challenge, and also Superstar. I have 130 days. 
rainy day, 31 days. And I think I will be able to finish a few of these challenge this month and start up uh, some new ones. So roll and save. And then this one is my uh, 2024, my 2024. Yeah. So those are the challenges. So for Diamond Rush, I'm going to put 30. For my $5 challenge, I'm going to put 25. So 25 into this one. I'm going to put 50 into my $10 challenge. Superstar will get 20. $100 in 30 days will get, let's put 30 into that one. Rainy day will get 50. 31 days will get 30. Let's put 30 in there. Roll and save. What did I say for roll and save? I did pre-roll the dice and it came out to $20. And then my 2024, I will put $50 in that one. Just because I feel like this is gonna be a good month. On my good months, when I have more to put away, I wanna do just that. Let me just go ahead and add all of this up and see where I stand. That puts me at 305 for my saving challenges for this month. So let's just do a little math. You know what I didn't do? You know, I'll add this to the budget after. Yeah, I'll do it after for my 100 saving challenge. I haven't really been budgeting for it. I've just been putting money as I kind of go, but I think I will document what I put in after I've put it in. So it's a part of the budget, but not a part of the budget at this moment. Okay. So 1,250 take away 305. That gives me 900 and $45 as a balance to work with and I do have some rollover funds it's not a part of this budget at the moment so that is to be considered as well so now I'm just going to go ahead and do my summary and we'll go over it together quickly okay Okay, so there you have it. Let's just go over the summary real quickly so you guys could know what I'm working with for the month of March. I will. I have a budget for $5,200. My fixed expenses, $1,200. My variables, $1,450. My debts, $750. Sinking funds, $550. Saving challenges, $305. And that leaves me with a positive value of nine hundred and forty five dollars left into my account to use as a rollover or to go towards any unexpected or emergency that i may have that is it for my budget moving forward i will do my cash stuff in my saving challenges and all of that jazz until next time bye y'all